Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today I'm out here with Kyle, my great buddy. Good to see you, sir. And hey, before we get started, our channel has been exploding. We've been getting a lot of good comments and views, so please like and subscribe to our Definitely. YouTube channel. Definitely. And we're going to have some more interesting content like today. A very interesting content <laughs> this, today. This one we've been having in the works for Ooh. about a month now. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure the shafts wouldn't break, so I called my buddy yep. who gave me these set of clubs. They're over 45 years old. What set of clubs are they, Neil? These are McGregor vfq blade irons they are they are a blade you mean a butter knife they are butter knife and we're going to hit a three iron and a seven iron today just to get a perspective of like what's the difference in yardages from current day clubs and okay. them clubs from back in the day and now how uh, old do you think these clubs are like i said i think they're early 1970s 1970s what, early 1970s and mcgregor that was top of the line club back in the day very top of the line. so this is going to be interesting it's still got the original leather wrap grips so, original shafts. Original shafts. So, original uh, rust on it. <laughs> original rust on it. Nothing's been dealt with too much. I've kept it in my attic, but uh, this is going to be interesting. So Sounds good. All right. All right, I'm going to hit my 7-iron. Uh, we're going to see how I do with it first. What do you usually hit this, Neil? You usually think? 165 to 170. Yeah, yeah 165, 170. Yeah. Real comfortable stock yeah. kind of 7-iron. That was hit. Woo. 183. Woo. I knew you hit that. Woo. Okay, you, so that that, that was it. I jumped on that one. Yeah, you did. All right, so let's do a little bit smoother. <laughs> yeah, but that was guy. That was a beautiful ball flight. Yeah, little draw. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so this one's gonna be about 170. One, yeah, you can back down from a big hitter. That's probably a little bit more stock. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's my normal that's, about 160, 170. Right on it. So that's yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, time for the, uh, so the butter knife. You can see I got about an inch difference here. So that does have some. That makes a huge. And difference. we didn't measure the loft, but I imagine the loft is probably a lot less with the current day seven iron. Yeah, because yeah. they definitely nowadays they they really uh, flight them down to get more distance. Yeah, Back they then, do. It's probably a lot truer. Yep. All right. Because so, they weren't playing the, the course that we play nowadays. They were more about ball striking back then. It was, and you yeah. got to hit it right here. Yes. You said it's got to try a bit. You got to hit it in the sweet spot. You have to. And if you miss it, it's not not yeah, as good. Yeah, I hope it's not a cold day. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here we go. Seven iron. That was the best one. Yeah. That was a really good strike. One fifty three. I that felt really good. I'll tell you what, this shaft is like a little bit softer, but the kick on it when this head it feels amazing. That looked amazing. Yeah. All right. Another good swing here. A little heavy. That was pretty good, actually. Just okay. a hair, just not a much. Hair. But still, it really shows the technology. Yeah. So, All right. I guess my though. turn to hit the seven. Yes. All right. So I got my modern AP2. Pretty darn forgiving for a supposed players club. All right. Supposed players club. All right. So. I think I hit this about 165, 170. I think, yeah, just comfortable stock. Yeah, you know, if you're playing, yep. Oh. All right, so I don't know how'd that go. That went 177. 170. I hit that yeah. one pretty well. Yeah, that was solid. Yeah, that would sit pretty well. I've, shocking. Should be about the same. Yeah, I pulled, so it might go. Yeah, no, I'm a little about short. Maybe a smidge thin. That's about right. I don't know. All that's right. about what you play, really. Man. So there you go. Woo. Look at it. Worry about it. Be concerned about it in your, your nightmares. Now, I have said multiple times to you that I like a thin top line. Yeah, well, this is it. That. That is it. That is no top line. When I was at the PGA show, that's what the top lines look like on the real thin. Get my glove. These grips are just a smidgen. All right. Can't hit down on it too much. Actually, you can. You, that shaft. Is, wow. You ain't got to worry about that shaft. 133. There you go. Towed it. There's your uh, there's, technology. There it is. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness gracious. But when you hit it in the sweet spot, yeah, there is a little bit different. Yeah. But I probably, imagine but okay. probably it's probably it's the loft. I would say the loft is That's probably true. different. That is true. Yeah. But still, you had to be a player to hit these. Yeah, you had to hit it in the sweet spot. Hey, yeah, dude. That one a little that bit. That was a little better. Still toe -ish. 151. Yeah, so that's, yeah. I hit that pretty close. That Whew. was a pretty good ball flight, too. That was a good yeah. ball flight. All right. So on, to the, uh, on to the two iron. All right, we're going to hit the three irons now just so you see the difference. I a mean, in length. So you could actually throw another, mine in there, too. Yeah, mine's th probably a smidge shorter than yours. Huh? Yeah, his mine's right in the middle. <laughs> right in the middle, so. All right, I'm going to hit mine first. And what is yours again, Neil? 21 degrees, uh, three irons. Uh, this the Rogue Utility. Yeah, it's the Rogue Utility, yeah. X Forged Utility. Yep. And, and that gives a lot more forgiveness, and mine's the TMB, a yep. lot, ton of forgiveness. Yes. All right, so let's see here. We got it set up on here. All right. That was well struck. 205. 205. That's about... It's about right. All right, maybe yeah. two tens. Uh, I don't know. That's 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 two or five yeah, to for two this, ten. For, yeah, for good swing though, dude. Yep. So we need one more. Yeah. All let's, right. Let's put it out there one more time. All right. That one you didn't hit the best. Why don't you hit one more? It's very straight though. That was hit. That was hit. Oh yeah, that's that a, was yeah. hit. Two fourteen. Yeah, yeah that's, that's... Boy, you step on those, don't yeah. you? All yeah. right, let's. All uh, right. Now, what do you think you're gonna do with this butter knife of a three <laughs> iron? I'm gonna be very honest with you, and I'm gonna tell you. I hope I hit it. This I'm, thing I'm... looks so little. Man, um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking 187. If you hit that 187, you're you're a god among men. <laughs> and I am going to tee it up just a hair. Yeah, I'd say tee it up, okay. just just to help a little yeah. bit. Wow, I got to hold on this grip for a little. Yeah, a little slip. Smooth, smooth. <laughs> that was actually really well hit. It went way left. 205. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, all right. You overturned it. It actually slipped in my hands. Did you hit a little on the toe and it just... It's, I mean, this one's really slippery. Yeah. <laughs> but 205, 205, low draw. Yeah, that was pulled, but I want to see here. That was straight there. That was a nice strike. Yeah. All right, oh. didn't write, read on the app, but one, did that say 198? Yeah. 198, you're wow. not going to see it on the app. You want to do one more or not? Yeah, do one more. That felt good. Now that was. Right, more, is this going to be your new set? That was more accurate reading because that one was straight. The first one was pulled, mm -hmm. which you know I don't. That's not too accurate when you pull. No. So. That was a great strike. Well, uh, unfortunately, didn't read that one, but that's all right. But that still gives a good idea of it. You want to do one more? Yeah, go ahead. Do one all more. Right. and I hit that just a tad Woo. behind it and it still went good. Wow. All right. It's better than I thought. <laughs> Not better. All right, give it a try, Kyle. All right. So we got the Titleist MB, or TMB, I'm sorry. A lot of forgiveness in this club. So. Yeah, it's great technology. You, yeah. you hit that well, so that's a club that you use quite a bit when we play golf. Yeah, so, so about right. two, I'd say 214. 214, nothing. Nothing I can't handle, I hope at least. All right, that was pretty good there. 210? Yeah, that's exactly how you would play out there on the course. Yeah, that would probably roll. That would be a good uh, low shot for this wind right you here. You know, par five, you know, you're laying oh, up, gosh, whatever. Yes. You're I, yeah. Par four, you need it straight. There you go. Need it straight. Fine. Fairway finder. All right. Good swing. All right, let's see. Maybe hit this a smidgen higher. It's okay. I wish I could hit him on the course like that. 215. Yes, that's good. All right. Okay. All right, now. 
<sighs> what do you think you're going to hit this bad boy? This thing and, is. I believe you mentioned as the professional that you were just hoping to hit it. I'll tell you what, but, and, when, uh, I, but when I swung gonna, it, it feels good, except for the grill. All right, so grip. I'm going to use a tee like you did. And make sure you grip it. <laughs> yeah. If, it go, if the screen goes to black, that means I let go of the club and I might have hit a small child. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Okay. How far are you going to hit this one, Kyle? I think, uh, <laughs> how about how about 180? 180, all right. I like that. Maybe a little baby draw. <laughs> it's bad. Oh my gosh. It feels good, doesn't it? No. I crushed that. 208. Wow. Comment below if you want to see Neil and I play a round of golf with this. <laughs> And we, have a, and we have an old Byron Nelson 68.3 Cleveland Classic Vintage Wood. We're going to, this thing is, you can work the ball with it. You can move well, it. Well, I'm going to go to try. All right. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can hit it 205. You're only 28 yards off on your estimate. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be a good problem to have. Oh goodness! Oh my goodness! Two oh five. So it's so it's eight yards less from forty years ago. Forty five. That is a nice and this is shorter. It, wow! But it feels good though. It feels amazing. All right, so I had an over under bet with one of the pros inside the pro shop here, mm -hmm. and he said it would easily be thirty yards less on both of them. And I said, no, I don't think so. I told him probably 15, 10. But I, it's actually, they both performed better than just, I thought. So I'm impressed. That was actually impressed. very interesting to hit those. Yes, it was. So, really, It also really shows the quality that uh, clubs that have been around for a long time. I mean, the just quality material. Is, it's, I mean, there's yeah. nothing. The grips are original, shafts are, everything is original. Yeah, this is outstanding quality. Yep. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to do. We're yeah, a lot do, of fun. We're going to do a vlog here soon on the course. That's really going to be interesting. <laughs> so, uh, hey, if we do good and they had the old set of clubs back in the back, yeah. play a tournament with them. <laughs> so if you like our videos and our vlogs, please check out barnhillgolf.com.